Who does not remember the evening of August 2023 when India scripted history by becoming the first country in the world to land its spacecraft near the south pole of the moon? But did you also know that there was an alternate landing site which was in the running if the Vikram lander was for some reason unable to land on the Shiv Shakti point? A new study led by Ahmedabad's Physical Research Laboratory has now confirmed that the alternate landing site, which was kept as a backup for the Chandrayaan-3 mission, also has immense potential for exploration and can be considered for future lunar missions. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Soumya Pillai and today I will be taking you through the findings of this study, which gives us some critical insights into India's plan for the next lunar missions. The study, which was published last week, has analyzed the geomorphology, composition and temperatures of the alternate landing site and has backed it for having the potential to carry out in situ experiments on the moon. I'm going to be getting into a bit more details of this site and how it is different from the Shiv Shakti point where the Chandrayaan-3 ended up landing. The Shiv Shakti point, which was also marked as the primary landing site by ISRO, is about 600 kilometers away from the lunar south pole and its exact location is somewhere in between the Manzius U and the Bogoslowski M craters of the Moon. The alternate landing site, on the other hand, while falling on the same latitude, lies to the west of the Mauritius crater and is about a few hundred kilometers away from the original landing site. On the Moon, such a distance would mean a completely different geomorphology, composition and temperature profile. And that is exactly what the researchers have found. According to the study, despite being a small area, the alternate landing site records significant temperature variability. In fact, a variation of about 40 Kelvin in the surface temperatures of the region was observed by researchers. It was also found that the Tycho crater which is known to be one of the youngest craters on the moon, was also located to the north of the site. This means that it receives prominent visible ejecta rays from the Tycho crater. The alternate landing site with overlapped ejecta from the Tycho crater provides a unique opportunity for future landing missions to sample the crater composition which is likely to be very different from the Apollo rocks that were collected from the lunar equator. According to PRL scientists, it is these factors present on the alternate sites that could present novel insights to the understanding of lunar science and make it a potential site for future missions to the moon. As the director of PRL, Dr. Anil Bhardwaj has pointed out, India is gearing up to land the first Indian on the moon by 2040. And who knows, they might just touch down here. This is all from me. Thanks for tuning in to The Print.